my original interest in smell was with animal behavior. And a lot of what animals do in their daily lives involves smell, scent marking, uh, recognizing mates, mothers and infants, and so forth. It turns out almost all of those things that animals do, we're talking about mammals now, um, we can do. So you, mothers recognize the scent of their baby's clothes versus other babies. Babies can recognize their mother, a, a nursing mother's breast pad from other uh, mothers. Um, men and women attract each other. Uh, we can tell by body smell uh, if somebody's sexually mature. Uh, we can tell from women if they're cycling. Uh, apparently, we can tell by, from smell if strippers are ovulating. Right. Uh, I, I mentioned that, and I want actually Leslie to weigh in because we were talking about the strippers. She brought it up. I didn't. I just I I'm not I injecting this into the conversation. Because this is the kind of mind I have, and I see a young man in the front, so close your ears right now, <laughs> earmuffs right now. <laughs> but there's a whole study out there about how strippers, when they're ovulating, get better tips. This is my tips. favorite science. So Leslie has to weigh in. So the the setting is New Mexico, and it was a it was a, a carefully controlled study where where strippers would log on to a website, report their tips, and also report where they were in their menstrual cycle, okay. and they enrolled women who were um, taking oral contraceptives and therefore were sort of flatlined for hormones, and women who are naturally ovulating. And the, 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 the results are really stunning. So women who are on the pill and don't ovulate have a very even tip trend. Those who are ovulating shoot up to a huge peak of profitability when they're ovulating, <laughs> <laughs> suggesting that they're much more attractive to their customers when they're ovulating, also suggesting that sort of subliminally the customers can tell. Or perhaps they project more sexuality themselves when they're ovulating in attempt. I've, we've been thinking about how to reproduce this, but it gets into sort of ethical issues. How do you, how do you enroll? <laughs> <laughs> the ideal thing is to enroll non-strippers and look at hundreds of Could you of imagine being the things. research assistant on that one? <laughs> <laughs> I see myself becoming a different person every, every once in a while. And certainly, you know, when I look back on who I was in my 20s, I think of being a different person. So let me ask you this. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to ask you. I close it to you.